I kind of like the way things were made previous and the story behind them. It's the story of the person who wore it before, and I, I love that. I love like imagining where it came from and giving it another story. My name is Misha Kitchkowski, and I am one of the owners of Cool Thing Vintage. Vintage clothing has already been around, and it still is alive. I just find the, the stitching, the fabric content, um, just the quality of workmanship, it lasts longer. Finding that gem, that thing you've been like hunting for, or this beautiful thing you've never seen before. I will you know, pick a piece sometimes, but immediately will catch my eyes, the color, the pattern, um, you know, what's on it, and then I look further. Where was it made? When's it from? That sort of thing. Once I was in my late teens with some friends, just the thrill of the hunt. Then I met Misha. We just kind of uh, became a force. Uh, my name's Forrest Silver and I'm co-owner along with Misha. T-shirt and jeans and probably a hat. Pretty casual, I would say. And if we didn't work together, we'd never see each other. The excitement of finding that thing and sharing it with someone who is excited as you is pretty unique. I feel really lucky, even though we want to kill each other. You know, definitely some of the time. When fast fashion became a thing, I would like buy some jeans. I really noticed how crappy they were. On the consumer's end, like just maybe being unaware of, you know, those choices that you make to buy cheap you know, and what um, repercussions there might be because of that. I really think that as consumers, we need to look at the kind of the whole story of our clothing. Where is it going? We just get rid of it and we don't think about it past that point of buying it and maybe a month or two later, it's not in fashion. With the food movement, we're kind of going slow food, organic. It seems like we're thinking about where our food is coming from and where it's going. And I'm really hoping that fashion will start doing the same thing. I want it to be creative, I want it to be fun. I have no problem with like new clothes being produced. Yeah, I think the nostalgia is really big for me. Uh, 90s t-shirts, 80s t-shirts, um, a lot of the things that I want to find are you know, those iconic things from those times. You know, punk from the 80s and 90s, TV shows from the 90s, all of that stuff really drives me and probably what I wear every day.